Hi guys, what's up? It's JJ from Sports Social, and you guys are watching JJ's Bag of Tricks. So before I get started, I want to give you guys insight on why I like to play with this little guy. I mean, it's just, it's really fun because it really takes my mind off of things, and it makes me feel like I'm actually really doing these, like those pro skaters, but I'm doing it with just a hand, which is crazy because who thought you could really do tricks with this little thing and a, and like your hand and doing like the same tricks that all the pros do. And it's just like, it helps you really try harder because it's a lot easier and it's more fun and different feeling. And it just feels like, I don't know, it really feels like you're in that actual moment. Like you're actually gonna go pro and all that. And so that's why I really like it. And it's just, you can take it anywhere you want. You can just go to the store and you can just go like, ooh, on the aisles or just at the park and just, boop, another one. And so yeah, definitely, I feel like if you guys are really interested, let me know and I can drop the insight or you can get your own, definitely. All right guys, now to learn the facts about this guy. So, the difference between this and the actual tech deck at the store is this piece is, it's actual wood. So it can break if stepped on or bent too much. They are pretty sturdy, which is really good. But definitely wood is the way to go. And then also for the grip, it's not actual grip tape on a skateboard, which is sandpaper type. This is actual foam. So like if you press on it, it should be really soft so, that's so it doesn't scratch up your fingers, give you that little nasty grip thumb from actual skateboarding. And then you can actually put the whole piece on. I like to just cut it out sometimes, get a little design. And then next are the trucks and the wheels, which is really cool and different about these is that they have little bearings inside if you can see it. And so like, just like actual skateboard, it has the bearings, the hardware, the trucks, and the bushings. And most days now, what I like to do is go to the store and like buy an actual tech deck, but take this part off and switch it on the here, just cause those ones are really good. And it's the best, it's the best way to stay cheap if you're like budgeting sometimes, but they're definitely worth it. And then, all right, enough of this. Let's go do those bag of tricks. All right, so this trick is an ollie. First, you're gonna have your two fingers, one on the tail, one up front by the bolts. And the main thing is gonna be to push down and then slide up. And that action is gonna be put together and you're gonna get it combined. Not that, but that right there. Alright guys, so another way to work with the ollies is your leg. Perfect way to help you. You're gonna set it on top, roll it down, and you're gonna pop it, and then just bring it up. And then just keep doing that. Try to not go as low to pop it going up. Try to like go as little lower, but bringing that up. What's bringing it up is that front finger. It's getting stuck right there. And, that's, and then that popping is what's making it go up. So just practice that, and that's gonna help you get that eventually. All right guys, the next trick is going to be a power slide. So same, same feet placement. This time you kind of want it on like the tail or you can do bolts and bolts right on top of the trucks. And it's just gonna be turning the board like that. So that's front side, back side. And then right here you're gonna be riding. And boom. Just like ways to slow down for you power sliding and then mainly you just want to be able to turn your wrist and bring your fingers with it so, boom, and then bringing it back to right back side and back to right 
Alright guys, so the next one is going to be the manuals. Your regular manual and then your nose manuals. So for here you want your feet on the or your fingers on the tail and then in the bolts. Kinda just like how you would regular stand on. And you gotta use your finger muscles for this. Your fingers are gonna be down and this one's gonna be up. Holding it as tight as you can. And it shouldn't look like this. Holding it steady right there. You can like make it go wobble as if like you're really trying super hard. And then it's gonna be the opposite for the nose manual. You're gonna be on the nose, back foot above the trucks on the bolts, and holding it just right there. All right, now we're gonna come through and then just start it going. Whoa. Now the nose manual, you're gonna remember, be up front on the nose, and then holding it, make it look nice and steady. Sweet. All right guys, back to this. Now we're gonna learn our shoves. Feet placement the same, front foot on the bolts, back foot on the tail, and the difference between these are gonna be back side is going this way, front side is going this way and the motion for it is just flicking that back foot or that back finger for the back side shoves and then the other one is you're gonna flick it forward so you're gonna kind of like like you're flicking something away from it like that but you're gonna do the back piece so you're gonna go back side and then front side right here this is back side and then front side, you're gonna want your finger back a little more, not up front or to the side, you want it back. Boom. 